So today we have a very easy geometrical question and the given data is very simple. The diagram is on the screen. All you have to do is find the area of this green square which has been inscribed over here very nicely. So this problem is very easy and has a very nice way to be solved using trigonometry. So let us see the solution. First of all, just have a look that if two lines are parallel or else three lines are parallel to each other, then a line cutting all these three lines are parallel or means any line that cuts two parallel line has been named as a transversal. Then we can use the property of the parallel lines and the transversal that are the alternate interior angles, corresponding angles, co-interior angles. So first of all, what we will do is uh, just consider the side of this square is some variable. So let the side length of this be equals to x and as it is a square, so all the four sides are going to be equals to x. Remember, now what we will do is this is just line means it's the side of the square. So we will just extend it in a straight line. Yes. Let it be clear. So, yes, a straight line we have just extended it. So, as it is a straight line, so what has happened is this is the biggest square. Then we have drawn a middle line in this. So, all these three lines are going to be parallel to each other. So, remember that this all three lines are parallel. So, if any transfer set is there from here to here, so this angle over here is something like alpha. So, here also the angle is going to be alpha because of the corresponding angles. So similarly over here in this triangle as I showed you this alpha and alpha are going to be equal. In this triangle these three lines are parallel to each other. Here's the transversal. Let it be in some different color so it's clear. Here's the transversal that is from this point to this point. Yes this is the transversal we have to take. And now we will take the angles means as I showed you the alpha is equal to alpha. So over here let it be theta. So if that is theta so over here this is also going to be theta. Yes. Now the second point side of the biggest square is 2 so here also it's equals to 2 this is the midpoints because of that this length from here to here becomes 1 now in this biggest right angle triangle right angle means here it's 90 degree so if there is 90 degree here also it's 90 degree and here also it's 90 degree yes <clears throat> so now in this biggest right angle triangle that's from this point to this point and in this in this biggest right angle triangle what can you say about the value of tan theta so value of the tan theta is opposite upon hypotenuse, not sorry, opposite upon the base. So opposite is 2 and base is equals to 1. So from here we get that the value of tan theta is equals to 2. Yes. Now again we can have that theta is present in this smaller right angle triangle that's over here. Let the color be changed. Yes. In this right angle triangle you can again see the theta is present and it's 90 degrees. So we can again have the value of tan theta. So before that let us name the side that's from this point to this point as something like a and as this length is already equals to side of the square so it's equals to x so this is also going to be x because this complete is a rectangle because here is 90 degree here is 90 degree here is 90 degree so all the four sides are 90 degree so opposite sides become equal first of all so if this was x so that becomes x so we have the that side is equals to x and base we have taken as a so in this smaller right angle triangle the value of tan theta would be opposite that is x and base that is equals to a and already we have the value of tan theta that is equals to 2 and now we have the value of tan theta that is x upon a so as the LHS of this both are equal that is tan theta tan theta so now the RHS can be compared very nicely so we get that x upon a is equals to 2 so from here we get that a is equals to x upon 2 so yes from here we obtain that a is half the value of x so i will just replace a with x upon 2 yes so a has been replaced as x upon 2 and this much length is already equals to x because it is the side of the square now what can you say about this remaining length over here so just have a look that this complete line that's from here to here is exactly equals to the this complete line and this complete line has already a length that is equals to 2 because it is the side of the biggest square so a total line is there of 2 and in that some part is equals to x upon 2, some part is equals to x and the remaining part let us name as b and it's already given that this complete line is equals to 2. So we have that addition of this 3 is equals to 2. So let us have this equation. So x plus x by 2 plus b is equals to 2. So from here we get that b is equals to 2 minus 3x by 2. Yes. And b is nothing but this external means this extra line over here. So this is b and we got that it's equals to this thing that is 2 minus 3 times x upon 2. Yes. Now let us use the data why this circular sector has been given. So only thing from the a circular sector we can have that yes means from its center if I will join to the boundary 
all these lengths are going to be equal to the radius and its radius is equals to 1 from because this point to this point it has been drawn so its radius is equals to 1 yes and its radius is equals to 1 so this is the center and I will join to this point so center is the boundary it forms a radius and it is the length equals to 1 yes this much length is already equals to b the hypotenuse we got 1 now what can be the value of the side length so just removing this 2 from the here and writing it a little bit back yes so this is 2 from this point to this point it's already equals to x because of this green square this is x this is x that becomes x similarly over here this much length will become x so this complete is 2 this much is x so from this point to this point that is from till here it's going to be 2 minus x so we have a final right angle triangle let it be over here yes so we have a final right angle triangle hypotenuse is equals to 1 base is equals to b that is 2 minus 3 times x by 2 and the side is 2 minus x yes b is equals to 2 minus 3 times x by 2 remember and this we will just apply a pythagoras theorem then we will have a single equation in terms of x so it can be easily solved so let us do it so according to the pythagoras theorem the side square so 2 minus x the whole square that is 4 plus x square minus 4x plus the base square so 4 plus 9 x square by 4 plus not plus minus 6 times x is equals to 1 so now let us add this all and take the lcm so 13 times x square by 4 minus 10 times x positive 4 positive 8 and positive 7 is equals to 0 now take the 4 so 13 x square minus 40 times x plus 28 is equals to 0 the 4 has been taken as the common lcm then it shifted with 0 so 0 over there now let us factor it out very nicely as it is a quadratic equation so what i can see is so what i can see is that 40 has been required as a product of 13 and 28 so 13 28 can be written as 14 into 2 13 into 2 gives me 26 29 negative 26 negative 14 gives me negative 40 yes yes it can be factored out like 13 x square minus 26 times x minus 14 times x positive 28 is equals to 0 this negative 40 x has been splitted like this way yes now from here i can take 13 x common so x minus 2 from here negative 14 common so x minus 2 and that is equals to 0 that is equals to 0 so from here x minus 2 and 13 x minus 14 is already equals to 0 so either this is equals to 0 or this is equals to 0 so x minus 2 is equals to 0 gives me that x is equals to 4 not 4 x is equals to 2 and from here i get that 13 x minus 14 is equals to 0 so x is equals to 14 upon 13 now the point to be noted is that 14 upon 13 is going to be something like 1.0 1.0 something something like that way and here we get that x is equals to 2 now according to this geometrical diagram x is a segment yes x is a segment on the biggest line segment that is equals to 2 and on that some part is equals to x so x cannot be equals to 2 x has to be smaller than 2 so x is equals to 2 isn't correct but x is equals to 14 upon 13 is correct because it is one point something like that way yes and you can see over here also that x is on the line segment of 2 so it has to be smaller than 2 so we get that x is equals to 14 upon 13 and it was to be found that the area of the square so area of a square so area of a square is the side and its square so side of this green square was x so x square is 14 upon 13 the whole square so 14 square is 196 and 13 square is 169 and its unit the whole square and that's the area of this green square and that's our answer that area of this square is 196 upon 169 this problem was very easy to be solved and it is a very nice way using the trigonometric method. Don't be afraid of trigonometry, it can be used anyway. And if you have any other method other than this, which is very nice, short and sweet, you can do comment below or else you can DM me on my Instagram. Link is in the description. If I found that problem very nice, means that solution very nice and cool, I will share it with our viewers so that uh, it can spread the knowledge.